Let's talk about absolute value. Absolute value can be thought of as uh, distance. If the absolute value marks are two vertical uh, marks, and when we write absolute value of x, this means the distance from x to 0 on the number line. So if we were to write the absolute value of negative 3, we're asking how far is negative 3 from 0 on the number line? Well, if we draw a number line and we put in here's 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, what distance is that? That distance is a distance of 3. So we say the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Likewise, if we take the absolute value of 3, we want to know the distance it is from the, uh, the number 0. We, we can see that that is also 3. The distance from 0 to 3 is 3, so the absolute value of 3 is 3. And many people just like to think of the absolute value whenever you see those two marks, whatever comes out is always positive. Okay, there are other uh, arrangements that we see with absolute value. One of them is the absolute value of a difference. Well, the absolute value of the difference of A and B just means, uh, it means the distance from A to B on the number line. All right, let's just take uh, an example. If I take the numbers negative 2 and 4, we write the absolute value of negative 2 minus 4. We want to know what the distance from negative 2 to 4 is. Well, on a number line, if we negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, the distance from negative 2 to 4, as we can see, is 6. That's because the absolute value of negative 2 minus 4 is the same as the absolute value of negative 6. And so we can see the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. All right, what if we start at 4 and go to negative 2? That would be the absolute value of 4 and then the difference in negative 2. So we're still going from negative 2 to 4, but this time we're going from 4 to negative 2. And, and it doesn't matter whether we start at 4 and go up to negative 2. Our distance is still going to be 6. Well, this one, 4 subtract a negative 2 is like 4 add a positive 2. That's the absolute value of 6 is equal to 6 as well. All right, with that background, let's now take a look at what we might find with algebra. What if I have x minus 3 is equal to 5? Well, going back to our meaning of distance, the distance from some unknown number x to the number 3 is 5. I could teach you some algebraic procedure to do that, but if we just think of distance, here's what we're thinking about. We know one of the numbers is 3. We know the distance from 3 to the unknown number is 5. So if I come up here to the right 5, or it might be on the other side a distance of 5, if I come up here 5, I end up at 8. If I go to the left 5 from 3, I end up at 
negative 2. So solving for this, we can see x is either negative 2 or it is 8. And we can see by plugging in a negative 2 back here, negative 2 minus 3 would be negative 5. That's the absolute value of negative 5, and that is 5. Okay, if we plug in 8, we get 8 minus 3 is 5. The absolute value of positive 5 is also 5. So solving an equality, a simple inequality like this, just think of number lines. Well, what if we end up with something like x plus 4, x plus 4 is equal to 6. You say, well, the absolute value of a difference is the distance, but this is a sum, not a, dis uh, a difference. But I could rewrite this as um, x minus a negative 4, the absolute value of x minus a negative 4, that's the same as x plus 4. So now I'm asking the question, how, what is the distance from negative 4 to some own unknown number x, and we know that distance is 6. So here's what I do. I come over here. The known number is negative 4. I know the distance from that known number is 6. I just don't know what the other number is. So if I come up here, 6, I get a 2. If I come down to the left, 6, I get negative 10. So the answer is x is equal to negative 10 or 2. Okay, that can be verified by dropping a negative 10 in here. Negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. That's the absolute value of negative 6. That's 6. Or drop a 2 in that gives us 2 plus 4. That's absolute value of 6 is also 6. So there's the check for our two solutions. Now, what about inequalities? Well, <clears throat> let's talk about inequalities. What if we've got x minus 2 is less than or equal to 4. All right, what that's saying is, is on a number line, I've got two numbers. One of them is 2, the other one is x. The difference of those two numbers is the distance. One of the numbers is 2, the other one is unknown, it's x. But I know the distance between them is either equal to 4 or less than 4. So if I come up here, 4, it could be on this side, I end up getting up to 6. If I come down 4 on the left side, I end up getting to negative 2. Well, 6 actually works because that distance is equal to 4 and negative 2 actually works, so I put a solid dot. And the distance could be 6, or excuse me, the distance could be 4, or it could be less than 4, which means that all of these points, they're less, the distance from there to 2 is less than, than 4, and all of these points, the distance to 2 is less than 4. Because here is the distance of 4, and all of these are less than 4. So now, these are all of the solutions to our inequality here. And we end up with uh, our x values being all numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 2, but less than or equal to 6. So there's one way to write that answer. The other way to write it is we could say 
x is less than or equal to uh, 6 and x is greater than or equal to uh, negative 2. Either way, if you write it with interval notation, we would put a square bracket saying that this number is included and it would start at negative 2 and then go up to and include 6, so I'd put another square bracket. You'll notice you could pick any number in that interval there, this interval, plug it in here, and you would get a correct, let's just try one here, let's try a, a 4, positive 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2. 2 is less than 4, so it works. All right, let's look at one other one. What if we have x plus 5, the absolute value of x plus 5, is greater than, uh, let's go with 6. Okay, using this idea of distance, we know that distance only works when we have a difference. So I'm going to rewrite this sum as a difference. This is the same as x subtract a negative 5. That's x plus 5 equivalent to it. Now that I've got a difference, I can use the distance idea. We're saying that I, I know one of the points is negative 5. Okay. I don't know what the other point is, but I know that the distance is more than 6. So if I came up onto this side, 6, I'd be up to 1. If I dropped to the left 6 units, I'd be down to negative 11. Okay? Now, the distance has got to be greater than 6. So the number 1 is not greater than 6. It's exactly 6. So I put an open circle there indicating that 1 is not part of my solution, but the distance being greater than 6 would be out here on this end, meaning all numbers greater than 1 would work in this equation. Likewise, the distance being greater than 6, here is negative 11 is a distance of 6 away from negative 5, but I want the distance to be greater than 6, so I'll put an open circle here because negative 6 does not meet the uh, greater than. It's equal to. And all of these are, uh, from here on down, are now greater distance than 6 away from negative 5. So our answer is, um, <clears throat> we would say x is less than negative 11 or x is less than, or greater than, excuse me, uh, 1. Okay, we cannot combine this in a combined inequality like we did up here with the, the and. The ands can be rewritten this way. The ors cannot. Uh, and if we're going to write our, our uh, solution, then here's what we would do. We would say that starting down here at negative infinity, we would go up to e negative 11. We would not include it because uh, it is not part of the solution. It's equal to 6 distance. And so we put a curved bracket. And then we'll say we're going to start at 1, and we're going to go all the way up to positive infinity, and Neither of those, in infinity or negative infinity, is not a number, so you can't get there and include them. And we're not including the number 1, so again, a curved bracket. And then to indicate that we have an or, we use this, the, the uh, symbol, union symbol, and this would be the interval notation for that.